It's easy to create a certified mail piece with electronic return receipt using the Connect Suite eCertify software. And that's exactly what we are going to do today. First, make sure you have pre-printed USPS certified mail envelopes ready to use. Log in to your Connect Suite portal using your username and your password. If you've already installed the shortcut widgets, your home screen will look something like this, and you simply create, click on the Create Certified Mail Piece widget. If you haven't added the widgets, your home screen will look more like this, and you click on the My Q tab up in the upper left-hand corner of your home screen. It will take you to the manual certified mailing queue, and in that queue, click on the Create an Electronic Receipt button up in the upper left-hand corner. First thing you do is select your profile, which is a pre-configured file that shows where the return address will be, the address location on the banner page, or the label that you're going to print. Enter your recipient name and address information, and then click Validate Address to bounce your address up against the USPS database for validation and standardization. Your address will come back standardized. You have the option to update the address to accept the USPS changes. The recipient address is now updated. You can add the address to your address book if this is a frequently used address, you don't have to. You also have the option to add custom fields, which we won't go into today. You do have to calculate the postage for each piece, and to calculate postage, you enter the mail piece type, whether it's a first class letter, flat, or priority piece. Ordinarily, we would use the page count option to determine the weight of the piece. You do have the option of entering the actual weight or the actual postage. We will use page count. You do want to include the banner page in the total number of pages in the document. Click the Save button to save all the information and go to the next step. Your mail piece is now displayed in your mailing queue. You are ready to select the piece and download the banner page to be included with your document. This is a, an example of the banner page or the cover page. Print this out and insert it into your certified mail envelope with your document. For your convenience, the total postage needed for the mail piece is listed at the bottom of the banner page. If you are done creating certified mail, you go to the next step. If you have more mail to create, you would do that now by clicking Create an Electronic Return Receipt and repeat the steps that we have just gone through. After downloading all of your banner pages, you must submit pieces to the USPS. This sends the file electronically to the USPS for acceptance scans, transit scans, and delivery scans. After submitting pieces to the USPS, your manual mail queue will be empty. It takes about 30 minutes for the Postal Service to accept or reject the electronic shipping services file. You would go to Mail Jobs tab on the left side of the screen to check the status of the file and to print out the required USPS forms. After clicking Mail Jobs, click the View button to view your current and past jobs. You are now in your Mailing Jobs screen. The most recent job is at the top of the list, the one we just created. Click on the Reports icon to print out the 3877 or the firm book and or 
the 5630 or the scan form. You would print out the scan form, which is shipment confirmation acceptance notice. This is what the Postal Service uses to scan the barcode and accept all of the pieces in that particular mailing. This gives you an electronic acceptance scan, which is your proof of mailing. If you want a hard copy proof of mailing, you would print out the 3877 or the firm book. You would take this with you to the Postal Service with your certified mail pieces. Postal Service would then accept your mail round date or postmark the firm sheet and initial the firm sheet, which would then become your hard copy proof of mailing. It is really that easy. If you are generating multiple pieces of certified mail throughout the day, you will want to follow the tips in the next session. So thank you very much. Pretty simple. Have a great day.